Extreme weather events will eventually cause spikes in food prices, increase in food spoilage, and disrupt food access. One of the target goals in the UN Sustainable Development Goal is zero hunger. To end food hunger, we need to achieve food security and promote sustainable agriculture. Malaysia is a country that produces around 70% of its food products, while the balance is imported from all over the world. Therefore, the Malaysian government has introduced many initiatives to address the food security issues such as the integration of nuclear technology in agriculture. We are going to present to you a video on how we engage our students in online sessions to help them see how nuclear technology helps in achieving food security in Malaysia. In Chapter 10 of Form 5 Biology Syllabus, the topic of climate change is included as one of the threats to our environment. In addition, the status of food security in Malaysia is also discussed in the textbook. Before the online class, we give a pretest to our students to access their prior knowledge and perception on nuclear technology. And the results showed that almost 46% from 100 students did have negative perception on nuclear technology. First and foremost, we had started with some common perceptions when people discuss about nuclear. Then, we had discussed on how climate change can bring negative impacts to the environment. Next, we had also introduced them to the topic of environmental sustainability where it includes discussions on sustainable development goals. Food security has also been highlighted to make sure the students understand how climate change can disrupt food access. Finally, we had shown how nuclear technology is being integrated to boost crop yield and quality. We had listed out a few benefits of nuclear in agriculture and give examples to nuclear technology applications in Malaysia. This program was to encourage students' engagement in organizing an online discussion session entitled Nuclear Application in the Assurance of Food Security. In this 45-minute session, we had invited two speakers from the Malaysia Agency of Nuclear. Dr. Azhar explained on how gamma ray was applied to mushrooms in order to preserve them. Dr. Sobri had shared his experiences on how gamma radiation was used to improve the quality of pedicide. A student became a moderator where the audience could either ask questions directly to the panels or pass the questions to the moderator instead. Teknologi nuklear ini adalah selamat. Kajian yang dilaksanakan adalah berlandaskan Undang-Undang Malaysia dipanggil Akta Bio Keselamatan 2007. Penggunaan, penggunaan aplikasi nuklear secara aman dan secara berhemah sangat penting. Dan kita yang diberi akal dan fikiran haruslah menggunakan. Based on this online quiz, around 60% of them managed to answer all the questions correctly. This activity was created to reward the students for their full participation and cooperation during the online program. The students did some research online on the application of nuclear and transformed their findings into a poster. A few students had sent us some short videos to share how they feel about the program. It's really exciting. Hello there, I'm Nadia. My first impression about nuclear is something negative. But little did I know that nuclear have many more advantages that I've never thought of before. To wrap things up, things that are used wisely can give a really good impact to us. Nuclear energy is like fire. If it's big, it will engulf everything around it, turning it into ashes. But if it's small and wisely used, it will bring a thousand and one benefits. Trust me. Almost 98% of the participants agreed that this program helped to change their views on the positive impact of nuclear in agriculture. In summary, we can conclude that our small efforts in organizing this program has brought such a huge impact on students. They have indeed learned so many theories about nuclear as they can correlate it with real-life applications in their daily lives.